Hi, my name is Anthony Cristiano. I'm the fixed operations manager at Mercedes-Benz Manhattan. Uh, I've been in the store for over 19 years. I was a graduate of Lincoln Tech and the Mawar, New Jersey campus. Uh, I started here as a uh, technician. I uh, worked my way up to uh, Diagnostic Tech probably within four years. Uh, within the next three years, I became a team leader, which where I was uh, in charge of five technicians, where I assisted them in their daily duties, dispatched the work, and was a liaison between the advisor and the workshop. You know, when I was going to Lincoln Tech, number one, I wanted uh, to work on cars. You know, that was my passion. You know, so kind of my career, my journey kind of started, um, you know, in that vein where I really just wanted to work on vehicles. You know, whether it was a Mercedes, whether it was a Buick, whether it was a Chevy, I didn't care. I just really loved tinkering with cars and fixing cars. That was kind of my passion. So, you know, I, I looked at all the different schools that were in our area at the time, and Lincoln Tech always had a great reputation. So I said, if I'm going to go to one of those schools, it was going to be Lincoln Tech. Um, I decided to go with a friend of mine to uh, Lincoln Tech campus in Monmouth, New Jersey. Uh, you went through the recruitment process, got, um, got accepted, and I think we started in August of that year. Uh, went through the program. At the time, um, they did a great job in the beginning of letting us know how the program was going to kind of go out. Um, I believe once you got to, um, I could be wrong on the numbers, the 13th court or the 9th class, you had the ability to either go out an internship and or at the time they had a BMW step program, go into that program. Um, so at that point, we were just driven to say, you know what, we're going to do a really great job here. We're going to get to the internship program or the step program, and we're going to get out and get into, into the workforce. Um, but to also do that, there were standards that you had to hit. So the biggest thing they impressed upon us as students was attendance and punctuality. You know, obviously, I, I, I succeeded in my goal. I got to internship. So, you know, obviously, at that time in Lincoln Tech, we learned on three major brands. So it was Ford. Chrysler and Chevrolet, or General Motors. So I was like, you know what, I'm comfortable working on those cars. I grew up in Westchester, and um, there was an opportunity to come down to Mercedes-Benz Manhattan. So you know, I'm thinking, ah, I don't want to go down to the city. You know, it's a German car company. I didn't, I don't really know much about those cars. I, I learned everything on these domestic cars, and you know, I, I have a Chevy dealership that's literally five minutes from my house. Can I go here? And um, Nellis Anchangelo was a recruitment director at the time. And um, I believe she's, she's still there, obviously. So um, she's like, you know what, Anthony? She goes, I really think this is going to be the best for you. You know, at least do me the favor of going down there, sitting down, seeing the dealership. And again, I was a little apprehensive because, again, maybe I was just being, you know, kind of narrow-minded, wanted to be close to home. Um, went down there, uh, saw the dealership. Yeah, it was a little intimidating, but once I got to meet the service manager at the time, got a tour of the dealership. Um, met with some of the technicians that worked there, and they were actually really gracious. They looked like they were really, you know guys that would take you under your wing if you were actually to work there. And listen, the rest was history. So I actually owe a big kudos to Nella for actually pushing me to come down here because again, you know what, maybe my career might have went a little differently. You know, one thing I think I learned in my career, especially being a technician, is that, you know what, you gotta have a good foundation. And then when down that foundation, you gotta push yourself to learn something new every day. You know, I've been in this business now 19 years, I still learn stuff every day. And I think being a tech now in this day and age with the complexity of these cars, you have to always make sure that you're learning. You know, I, I always say it to my guys when they come in, I say, you know what, you're investing in your tools for your toolbox, you can work on the new model line car, but what are you investing in your mental toolbox? You know, you have to stay up to speed on these cars, and I think that's where it separates the men from the boys. You know, that's where you're gonna be successful, or maybe where you may struggle. So in school, I would say, you know what, you made a good choice. Um, if this is your passion, if you really like the automotive industry, you like working on cars, um, no matter if you're working on a Kia or a Mercedes, you're gonna be really challenged. Um, it's not gonna just be about changing oil, um, taking out struts, doing basic maintenance. You're gonna be doing some in-depth diagnosis with some cool tools. I mean, I look at you know, this day and age of how we use you know, iPhones, iPads, technology. You use the same kind of technology in these cars. You know, we have a uh, tablet PC that hooks up to an interface that goes into a car. I could be standing in my office and I could be talking to the car that's hooked up because everything's wirelessly. Everything's going through the internet. Um, you know, you're going to look at oscilloscopes, you're going to be hooking up cool gadgets to these cars to read information. You're going to program and flash control units. Um, so I think, number one, you're going to have fun, uh, you're going to be challenged, and you're going to be something new every day. You know, I think, you know, you look at a lot of jobs where people say they kind of get bored because they're doing the same thing over and over again. You know, every day you come into work in the automotive field, whether you're working on cars, dealing with customers, or selling cars, there's a new challenge every day. And I think that's what keeps me kind of grounded, keeps me kind of always happy to come into work. Um, there are going to be challenges, there are going to be tough days, absolutely, but I think you made a good choice to go there. And I think once you come out, I still think, again, you've got to make sure that you stay dedicated to your craft. You know, there are going to be some challenges, it's not going to be all the bells and whistles that everybody thinks it's going to be. You're not going to just all of a sudden by osmosis show up at work, and everything's going to come to you and you're going to make, you know, a lot of money. You've got to stay dedicated, and I think the biggest thing you need to do through the course of your career is consistently keep on learning and have an open mind to keep on learning, because if you don't, it's going to pass you by and you're going to struggle.